Hey, I'm Andrew Connell. This video is an overview of one of the chapters in my course, Mastering the SharePoint Framework, that's available for uh, purchase on my site, Voitanos.io. This overview video is going to give you an idea of everything that the chapter uh, covers. You can learn more by checking out the description uh, in the notes below the video. Um, if you got any questions about this chapter or about the course in general, just make sure you drop a comment uh, below in, in the uh, below the video and I'll be sure to get back to you. So with that, let me get out of the way. Enjoy the overview to this chapter. Sharing code across multiple projects is nothing unique to the SharePoint framework or SharePoint framework projects. This is something developers have been trying to do, well, really since the beginning of development. Whether you're doing it for performance reasons or code maintainability reasons, it really is the right thing to do. You should be able to share code and not duplicate it across your projects. Now, the SharePoint framework gives us a way to do this using a special kind of uh, component. We call this a library component. Um, in this chapter, you're going to learn how the library component works, how to create a library component, and then what the deployment story looks like um, as well. We're also going to look at the advantages and disadvantages of using a library component. And then I'm going to show you another option, and that's using a standard NPM package. And this is more of a standards-based way of doing it. Um, there are advantages and disadvantages to using an NPM package instead of using a library component. But I want you to see both options. So I've broken this chapter down into three main sections. The first section is we're going to first look at just what it means to share code across uh, multiple projects inside the SharePoint framework and what options are available to you and how uh, each one kind of compares with each one. And then we're going to go into e uh, uh, details on each one of these different options. The first being SharePoint framework library components. Um, these are available in SharePoint Online. Now, after we've gone through a discussion on these and I've gone through a demo and showing you how to work with these and how to deploy them, we're then going to pivot. I'm going to show you another option, and that's using an NPM package. NPM packages can be used anywhere. They can use, be not only be used and consumed by SharePoint framework projects, but also by standard run-of-the-mill uh, web apps uh, or even server-side apps, as long as they're JavaScript uh, based, like if they're using Node. So by the end of this chapter, you should know the different options that are going to be available to you for doing code reuse and sharing code across different elements in your SharePoint framework projects. But even more so, you're going to know the options and know when one makes more sense than the other uh, and what the advantages and disadvantages are of each one. So let's go ahead and get started. 